What is up, you guys? Hey, guys, what's going on? All right, let me just fix a few things. Boom. Uh, I'm just going to put a background on this just so it looks a little better. All right, I guess I'll just keep it like that. All right, what is up, you guys? Sammy. Oh, Fitness Freak. What's up, dude? How are you? All right, Sammy. Sammy was first. Oh, Aid. What's up? How are you? Uh, Rashad, third. I have an important question when the stream starts. You're currently in three hours into a 16 hour fast. Oh, Stussy, what's up? Uh, he's here. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Fitness Freak, I'm good. Uh, I didn't end up actually going to the gym today. I don't know if you guys went. I took off today because I've been going. As long as I could do a minimum of three to four times a week, I think I, that's when I have the best workouts because it also allows me time to recover. So I don't know if you guys went to the gym. I don't know how your gym session was, but you know, let me know. Stussy, what's up? How's it going over there? How you guys been? Sammy, you're always rocking those nice cool hoodies. You know what the funny part is? Uh, Sammy, I actually made this myself. Um, this is an original. This is one of a kind. You won't see this anywhere. I made this myself. I'm actually going to make more sweaters like this, but I mean, now it's it's going to be summer in like a month or two in Jersey, so uh, I got some time. <laughs> Rashad, I haven't been to the gym in 12 years. Are you doing anything at home? Are you doing like push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups? I would at least do that. Um... Have you tried the Kirkland chicken fries? No. Kirkland chicken fries? What's the meaning of the hoodie walking? Um, it's just peace and love, that's it. It's just showing um, respect, peace, love throughout every ethnicity, every religion. It's really what it is. Uh, nothing too crazy about it, just you know, respecting everybody for who they are. Brian, Trevor, Michael. <laughs> Brian, what's up, dude? How are you? Fitness Freak, are you still over there? How's Twitch going? Franklin. You mean like Franklin the Turtle back in the early 2000s? But, um... Yeah, you had a question about your fast, Rashad? It's going good. Fitness Freak, did you go to the gym? How to eat healthy while at the movies. I'm going on the movies on a Tuesday with my friends. Oh, Sammy, I actually did that a while ago. Uh, I'm not sure if you remember that one. Fitness Freak, you didn't end up going to the gym? What'd you end up doing then? You just hung out today? Got my surgery next week. Oh, do you really? Where are you doing the surgery again? And how long does the uh, surgery take to recover? Does my fast count if I'm sleeping during the fast? No. Unless, I mean, I guess it would technically count if you slept and then you slept a little bit more. I mean, if it's in your fast. Popcorn, no butter, diet soda, and fruit snacks. That's a good one. You know what, um, I'll go back and watch it. Thanks, Mike. Sammy, you know what else is another good one besides what Stussy said? Um, everything Diet Coke, zero sugar, whatever, anything zero. Water, obviously, popcorn, no butter. Um, and then sometimes they have beef jerky too. Or I've seen protein shakes, as weird as that is, at um, certain movie theaters. So, got my surgery next week. Three months total recovery. Okay, I mean, that's. Hey, uh, Fitness Freak, I mean, to be honest, man, I've had three on one of my legs. I know yours is pretty serious too. So that took me out for a while when I had the three on my uh, one leg. So I, I completely understand how you feel. It probably took me out for like, honestly, like a year. All I did was really upper body and I barely did it. I'm taking my Mountain Dew Zero and Skinny Pop. That's a good one. I'm sleeping because it's night. So you started your fast at 512 and the fast ends at 9. So I'm sleeping through a lot of that. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if it's if you're trying to do fasting uh, for any particular reason, I'm not sure what the reason is. Um, that counts, regardless. <laughs> Theaters have been going crazy. My local vegan has yogurt and lettuce wraps. Really? I had never heard of that. That's pretty cool. I'll, I'll be back. I'm going to watch Mike video with the movie one. Yeah, Sammy, it's... 
it's under my fast food restaurant ones. Um, so I would kind of just tailor off ideas off of that. Oh, CB, what's up? Um, oh, and have you ever chosen foods, mayonnaise with avocado oil? Um, like at grocery stores, Owen, or just in general? <laughs> foods with just mayonnaise? <laughs> Honestly, I will say I'm not the biggest fan of mayo. I was not. As a kid growing up, the only reason I liked mayo, well, uh, the only reason I liked mayo was because I used to mix it with ketchup. And I used to dip like the Burger King fries or the Wendy's fries in it, and that would taste really good. Yeah, I'm late to the stream, which is super unusual. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out, CB. It's okay. I'm still here either way. Don't worry. Uh, we are still here and we are still cooking and kicking. All right, fitness freak. Peace, love, good luck with your surgery. Um, time flies fast. Don't uh, just remember that too. So, you know, one day you're gonna be going uh, through surgery. It's gonna go out well, and then the next day you're gonna be, you know, back to the gym working out. I was never a fan of mayo. Yeah, like I said. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of mayo. I used to, like the only thing I really did with it was like, I'll mix it with like ketchup uh, as a kid growing up. And then you go to like Burger King or Wendy's. Um, that was like probably the best thing really you could have with mayo. Nah, I was just wondering if somebody was pondering because I'm never late here. <laughs> yeah, we were all pondering. CB. Oh, Mars, what's up, dude? How are you? you? Guys, don't mind my dog in the background. Mars, how you doing? How you been? See, I'm trying to get it to a good... Okay, I think that's pretty good. A cynical laughing out loud. Yeah, guys, don't mind screaming in the back. I think cane sauce is ketchup and mayo mix. Could be wrong. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Wait, cane sauce is ketchup and mayo mixed? That makes sense why it's pretty good. Mars, uh, you're doing all right, how about me? Uh, I'm doing good, you guys. I filmed actually two videos. Um, and then I filmed the YouTube, so I can't wait to do more. Could you do more day in a life vlogs? I love them. Thanks, Chris. Uh, <laughs> love coming back to you, but... Um, I don't know, I gotta figure it out, to be honest. I'm, I got a lot of cool ideas uh, I wanna do, obviously. Um, I think that's the best part about doing like YouTube and all this stuff is like, you get to be as creative as you want. You get to do whatever you want. Um, so I'll definitely, I'll look into it. I'll probably do it sometime. I don't know when, but I'll definitely do it sometime, Chris. Mars, you're doing all right. Mars, how are you doing? Sammy just saw it and I wrote it down on a paper. Thanks, Mike. I know. Yeah, Sammy, what I would. Don't worry, guys. I'm not tired. Um, what I would do is like I think Stussy said it or somebody said it. Um, I would just go back, maybe get some popcorn, no butter. Uh, beef jerky is a good, another good option. Uh, and then zero calorie drinks. If you don't want water, they have like probably Coke Zero, Fanta Zero. I've been also trying to like chill with the caffeine a little bit. Um, and usually like Sprite Zero or something has caffeine free. So I would probably tailor towards like that or something similar. Because I drink a lot of coffee in my life. Sneak skinny pop. <laughs> You know what's funny? When I did the movie theater one, people uh, people were telling me to just sneak in, and I was like, "Listen, I'm not sneaking this in right now." Definitely was not sneaking in, but it was really, really expensive. It was ridiculously expensive. I might go back and do the movie theater just because of how expensive it was. But I actually did, um, just as a heads up, I did Sonic, and then I did Korean fried chicken. So I want to do that 
and then I have some really cool ones I want to I'm gonna do you guys I still want to do like maybe Johnny Rockets insomnia cookies um, I definitely just want to hit each one at least once buying the expensive theater food is part of the experience it really is Mars today is National Burrito Day I did not know that I wonder how packed Chipotle was if that was the case Chipotle was probably really really packed or you know what actually I don't think Kava does it I don't know if you guys ever been to a Kava but Kava is kind of similar to um, Chipotle where they had the bowls and the chicken but I don't know if they did that or not. Uh, Stussy, next movie I'm seeing it there is Deadpool 3. Oh, I didn't even know they had a Deadpool 3. I think when I went, I saw the um, second one. I think it was the second one. I went to Moe's for the BOGO sh shit. Just straight out. Really? You didn't like Moe's? I didn't mind Moe's. I really, I, I didn't mind Moe's at all. I mean, I thought Chipotle and Cabo was a little better, but I didn't think Moe's was really that bad. Uh, Jonathan, what's up, dude? Have you ever watched Joe X Fitness? I don't think so. Maybe I have, and I just don't remember. Why, uh, Jonathan, why him specifically? Chris, you should do places hold it in and out if you ever go on the west coast yeah no don't worry chris i plan on doing that um i want to hit everything on the west coast as soon as i go there to cali and then really go from there because there's i think there's like in and out you got this um help like el pollo loco culver's um i'm not sure if dutch bros is a west coast thing i don't know if anybody knows that i'm not sure if dutch bros is a west coast thing or not I don't know, I feel like the food quality is worse than Chipotle. Oh, really? At Moe's? Yeah, like, um, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't taste like a huge, huge difference. Maybe it could have been that day too. I don't know. Jack in the box, another good one, Stussy. But yeah, like I th said, Jonathan, I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen Joe X Fitness. At least I don't remember might go watch the new Godzilla. Ooh, that's a good one. He gives really good tips when you're cutting or even when you're trying to gain muscle. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm at a point where I'm in my 30s now. Um, oh, just random, dude. What's up? I think I'm at a point, honestly, I'm in my 30s and I know um, a good amount of information on how to cut and how to bulk. And I just know where to find the sources too. So, I think it's very minimal that I'll watch other like content creators um, that do it too, to be honest. Because I also got my degree in nutrition and food science. Um, but the only real people I watch, as far as like fitness and food related goes, or sports nutrition, would be like Eric Helms, I watch Mike Isretel, I Mike, uh, Lane Norton is good. Um, all these guys also have degrees higher than me, so I, I think it's cool to hear from them. Uh, who, who else? Menno Henselman. Um, all these guys are really good. So I love watching them too. Oh, Alan Aragon, Brad Schoenfeld. Those are like day one guys, really. Uh, how do you celebrate Memorial Day? How do I celebrate? I mean, uh, I think there's usually uh, like a parade for Memorial Day weekend. You know what's crazy? Every every single time for Memorial Day weekend is like the craziest time for like beaches and uh, just everything outdoors. Do you watch Corey? Yeah, I see Corey. <laughs> uh, you, the only other person other than my mom I know with a food science degree in life. I'm telling you, the food science degree. The funny part is though, um, when I did the dietetics internship, that was really expensive. I stopped halfway because I couldn't, I didn't even bother with it because I couldn't afford it. And I was already working in a hospital already. 
So they told me it wasn't accredited with the with the college I was going to, so I told them I didn't want to do it anymore because it was another 10, 20,000 uh, I had to play, plus I'm working for free. So I told them it doesn't make sense for an average paying job. But if, when I do go back, I'm gonna go back for sports nutrition, really. We celebrate Memorial Day with some G. <laughs> G Hughes is really good. I will say G Hughes is one of my favorite sauces. Um, yeah, G Hughes is really, really underrated. Mars, I got a burrito without rice and it was 850 calories. Damn, dude. Was it a uh, tortilla probably? The tortilla is probably like three, 400 to be honest. Calories don't reset at midnight but they carry on the next day, right? I mean, I wouldn't look at it like that. If you are gonna look at it like that, I would just kind of look at your whole calories for the whole week. So like, let's say you were eating 2000 calories each day, and now you're worried about so much whether you have to reset the next day. Because you're eating 2000 calories each day, Mars, so it's 1400 right at the end of the week. Just make sure you're close to 1400 at the end of the week. That's how I would do it. Because I wouldn't think about it like that. If you're going to keep carrying over, you're going to start to lose your mind. It's not going to be fun anymore. It's You know, listen, it's not the greatest feeling already dieting. And you're just going to make it harder on yourself. So at that point, when you're thinking about, hey, I'm just going to carry on the meal plan for the next day. Um, 1,400 deficit. Yeah, so just, so if you're doing 1,400 per day, just, oh, James, I still got to look at, find your thing, man. I know you're going to ask me and I'm blocky on the other one. <laughs> But yeah, Mars, like I said, if you do like 1,400 times seven, that's your total you need to hit for each week. Um, and just look at it like that, you know? If you do do one of those days where you just kind of carry it over, if that makes sense. Jonathan, what is a good pre-baseball game meal? Ooh, that's a good one. I would honestly probably get, I wouldn't get the hot dog. I wouldn't get the peanuts. It's probably gonna be like a burger or something like that. Um, yeah, that's a good one though, Jonathan. I might have to check that out. James, what's up, dude? How are you though? We talk about Corey Armstrong a lot. <laughs> Corey's a good guy. I love his content. I love his community posts. His community post is really, really funny. Texas might be the only state that has a Whataburger in and out called first. Yeah, Whataburger too. I think we had a Whataburger too. Uh, well, in New York City. But, um, I don't know. I don't think it's there anymore. I have to check. James, what's up though? How are you, dude? Would you, you should react to my strange addiction or something. Why? <laughs> You mean just like watch it and then react to it? And how I feel about it? I've seen some really weird stuff on Strange Addiction. I mean, listen, it's, I I don't know they, how they ended up there, but like they ended up there somehow with this Strange Addiction. Um, I remember seeing one where this one person was eating toilet paper. And at that point, I'm like, whoa. I'm like, I don't even know how they even got to this certain point. Maybe they just kind of fixated on it and they just saw it every single time or they just went to the bathroom frequently. But it's, I saw some really crazy stuff. Uh, Sammy, you cynical, you got a million points. Cynical, we are famous for BBQ here. Texas might be the only state that has water in and out. Oh, you guys have all three or all four? I didn't know that. If that's the case, I'd rather just go to Texas. I think he means if he's going to play baseball, what is the best meal before the game? Oh, okay. Um, so any type of physical activity, what you really want to essentially do, um, what I would do is kind of limit fat and fiber because it takes slower time to uh, digest. And especially the closer you are to working out, um, it's gonna also probably give you stomach discomfort. That's why everybody says like, have a simple carbohydrate like Rice Krispies, right? Or fruit because it digests faster and it's a good fuel source for your for your muscles. Any type of moderate to high intensity workout, you're gonna need carbohydrates. Your body prefers carbohydrates as fuel. And then the sodium, um, like salt, is gonna actually help pull water into your muscles. Uh, 
um, to give you like a really good pump. So, but you're not, I mean, I guess you could use it for baseball because you're also gonna be dehydrated at the same time. So you also need to hydrate yourself. So water, electrolytes, um, and then yeah, simple carb. And then if you wanna have protein because you haven't had protein for a few hours, I would do that too. Um, Chris, what is a good beginner camera for starting YouTube? Honestly, we, I mean, I, I'm using the Sony, uh, it's like, it, it's actually my cousin's. It's the Sony A4 4600. I don't, I don't really know technicality wise, to be honest. I'm just using his camera. Uh, it's a Sony and, uh, I don't know, Chris, to be honest, I, I'm not really too technical with the, the cameras. I wish I could help you more, but it's, it's just a Sony, I know the brand. And then there's a separate attachment for the lens. Um, so he has that. So I think together he paid like a thousand or two for the camera, and then it's another thousand to probably three thousand for the lens too. Panasonic is good too. We have Panasonic cameras at church. I think I saw an episode when people consume chalk, yeah. Or like drinking like Clorox or something like that, I think I saw at one point. It was weird. <laughs> um, out of all the videos you've made, what is your favorite place to eat at? Uh, it's probably gonna be Chipotle. I used to love Subway. I mean, honestly, I, I loved every single fast food chain growing up. I can't even lie. <laughs> I literally had a habit where I would just kind of stick to one place and I'd eat it for like a month or two and then i kind of go to the next place. Like I would have KFC probably for like a month or two because I loved like the, the honey barbecue wings with the fries and then you dip the fries in the mashed potatoes and then I go to Wendy's because I like the the chicken nuggets, honestly, and the fries with the barbecue sauce. Um, then I go to Burger King, the chicken sandwich was really good, or the, and the chicken fries. And I would just keep doing that specific place for like a while, so. Um, those were pretty good. Out of all the videos you've made, uh, Chris said that, I think I saw an episode. What's your favorite, NYX or a Halo Top flavor? Um, I usually just stick with something basic, like, I mean, chocolate brownie is actually pretty good. Um, yeah, I usually go with like basic, like vanilla, um, anything like vanilla or chocolate, really, or brownie flavor. Not bleach, yeah, bleach was bad. The bleach was really, really bad. That's why I got confused how they got stuck to this position, some of them. But I mean, like, I don't know. It happens. It leads you to this way somehow, some way. And tomorrow I'm buying the C4 Shred. Oh, Sammy, I hope you like that one. Also be easy with the C4 Shred. There's, I think, 300 milligrams of caffeine. So I would, I would start light if you were to do it. C4 Shred is really good though, I will say that. I've been using C4 Shred, and honestly, I, I know C4 gets a bad name or a bad rap in the fitness industry, but it, I don't think many people have tried the C4 Shred. And I've been into fitness for, like I said, since I was 13, so like 20 plus years almost. C4 Shred is up there. <laughs> mm. uh, I started my cut. Don't mind that in the background, you guys. That is uh, my niece. She's in the crib and she's crying. I don't know what's going on. But my family is downstairs, so no need to worry. Chocolate brownie, that's a great suggestion. Austin, what's up, dude? How are you? Uh, do you bulk for eating? Yeah, I was bulking at one point. Um, I will say, though, with all my previous injuries for the past like year or two, I haven't really been bulking because I was afraid to get too big or like too heavy. So I've been kind of sticking around anywhere from 25 to 2,800 calories. Right now I'm at like 2,700 calories, 28. Um, 
if I was able to work out harder on my legs, I probably would, but because I don't, I kind of like don't eat as much as I used to. I have the C4 Energy, the blue one smacked. Yeah, the C4 Energy ones taste good. I, like I said, I think the C4 Shred is by far the best one, really. Um, I started my cut at 157. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> cracking my own back at chiropractor uh i started my cut at 157 now i'm 142 i thought the fat would be substantially different but there's still a lot at my stomach area yeah i think um you got to remember one you can't spot reduce right so it's wherever your body uh your body essentially pulls fat mars but i will say as you keep cutting your body's gonna have to pull fat from somewhere so eventually it will pull fat from your stomach um so it just takes some time. Doing good, man. How's everything been going for you? It's good, Austin. Uh, I said before I didn't go to the gym today because one, I got home a little later. Um, I hung out with some family members and we just stayed up all night just reminiscing about our early 20s. And then, then I literally didn't get home till like one, so. And I usually make my food and I'll bring it with me everywhere. So I'm like home one in the morning doing my own dishes. And uh, at that point I'm like, oh man, my mom's gonna flip. Uh, <laughs> my mom's gonna flip on me. <laughs> Cause all you hear is running water downstairs. Nice assortment of colors in the chat. Orange, pink, teal. Yeah, I like it. Everyone's switching up. I'm scared of being skinny fat. I. Well, Mars, if you're consuming enough protein and you're weighing everything raw and you're weighing everything accurate, you don't have to be a concern for skinny fat. Actually, the illusion is the leaner you look, the bigger you look, really. Um, but Austin, how you been? Did you work out? Did you go to the gym today? The C4 makes you see. Yes, it does. Uh, here comes the train, you guys, because the train's the best part of the day. really loud um, what's my favorite food I I always say this on every stream because I have so many people that ask me uh, I will say my favorite food is protein pancakes I become so accustomed to it and I'll put it like I make like whey protein eggs uh, depending on the consistency maybe like banana or yogurt just really depends uh, egg whites baking powder cinnamon um, I'll mix that up uh, my whey protein tastes pretty good with it. And yeah, I'll throw blueberries, apples, and sugar-free syrup. Man, I could eat that all day. I could eat that every single day, honestly. Uh, I'm tempted to change it. I wish the happy train. But yeah, Mars, like I said, if as long as you're consuming enough protein, you really should be fine at the end of the day. Gavin, I love you. Gavin, love is coming back to you, man. <laughs> it is always coming back. Anytime you guys send love, it comes back. It comes back twice as much. <laughs> Sammy, the happy train. Yeah. Uh, I live right next to a train station, too. It's so annoying. And, uh, yeah, the train station is the worst. It's funny because I lived... Uh, next to a train station majority of my life and then I moved out and then I went back um, but the train station I think I've learned to just kind of sleep through it and I don't know how I sleep through it anymore I really just don't granted my house is not like early 2000s it's it was like early 1900s you know at a point where you could kind of hear even with the windows closed you could still hear anything as you hear it now you know but um I just learned to kind of sleep through it now. But when I'm up and I hear that train, it's so loud. CB, what can I use instead of water to mix with a pre-workout like C4 trainer Mikey? Instead of water? Um, hmm. You could always mix it with a little bit of whey protein if you want to. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of other alternatives because I'm not really... I don't really change it up or I don't see that many people change it up as far as pre-workout because you kind of just want to take it by itself, CB. Um, 
So if you don't want to take it with water, maybe mix it with uh, your white protein a little bit or some type of simple carb. Like if you want to mix it with a Gatorade, be good too. Because at least you're getting some type of carbohydrate with it. I also bought myself a big lunch box. Sorry guys. Uh, Ozark Trail A. Ozark Trail Oh, I never. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Cynical try with an energy drink. That's a good one too. You could do a sugar free. But just also be careful, like, it don't drink it with, like, a monster, because a monster has already, like, 150 milligrams. Not milk, right? Uh, I don't think it would taste good, no. I want to I wanna do it with milk. I messed with my protein powder. It has 95 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. So I can only take it in the morning. You know what's funny? I have the same thing. I have um, protein-infused caffeine or caffeine infused protein. Um, so I'm the same way, that that protein, I, I have one scoop every single day. It's in the morning, it's in my protein pancakes and it's hydrolyzed um, whey, so it digests really fast. But yeah, CB, I, I personally wouldn't try, I wouldn't drink pre-workout with milk. I don't think it's, I don't think it's gonna taste good, and I, I would probably rather drink it with like a Gatorade Zero or maybe like a Zero drink. I never tried a pre-workout before, but I'll stick to mixing it with water in the future. Trainer Mike, thank you, Sammy. Yeah, like I said, if you ever do get a pre-workout, like you, if you get the C4 shred and you take a little bit of it, you're gonna love it. One, and then two. Um, you could, I mean, you don't have to just use water. Mix it with like something a zero beverage. Don't don't mix it with anything carbonated because it's probably not gonna taste good either. So anything like zero calories, like mix it with the Snapple zero, mix it with the the Gatorade zero, like anything like that. How do you feel about Rise protein powder? Um, I don't know if Rise is isolate or hydrolyzed. I'm more on the fan of isolate or hydrolyzed. I think hydrolyzed is the best. Well, it is the best, technically. It's also a little bit more expensive than all of them, really. Um, but I kind of think of it as like fuel for your body because it is essentially like if you're going to the gas station and you're getting regular silver and diesel and you're driving a nice car, you don't want to fill up the nice car with regular right, gas because um, it's that's what it's going to be running on for the next few days. So I would pick diesel because you want the engine to be running smoothly, if that makes sense. Really smooth. Milani energy drinks have like 200 million. Yeah, like, probably wouldn't mix it with something like that. Or if you just take Alani. Uh, just a random dude. I need a protein part that tastes good and could be found at Costco. What's your recommendations? Um, so I have, so I have three that taste good. Um, Kirkland, Kirkland is like hit or miss with some people, okay. And then pure protein, and then the last one would probably be, oh, I'm sorry, Robert Irvine Fit Crunch Bars. Those are really, really good. So between that one or the pure protein, I probably go with. Kirkland has fiber in it, which is really good. Um, but if you want that one that tastes good, I'd probably go between Pure Protein and Robert Irvine Fit Crunch Bars. Those are amazing. Does brand really matter for creatine? No, as long as you have creatine monohydrate, that's um, essentially the biggest thing. Now, when you look for supplements, you do want to look for certain criteria, like if it's third party tested or something in that matter right because it just matters for the purity reasons and they're actually throwing the right dosage um, so usually there is like a seal like a, basically it's been certified pure for its purity reasons and its dosage um, you could do that you could look for stuff like that um, I'm trying to think of specific companies that are really um, up there 
Uh, but it, it would generally say like it's third party tested or something like that. Or you'll see some type of seal label saying that it's like a different uh, company testing it. Naravo creatine is better, trust me. I picked up True Bar recently and instantly regretted <laughs> all to. Uh, yes, I have the first crunch, Fit Crunch Bar, okay. Yeah, the Fit Crunch Bars are really good. Uh, the True Bar is, eh. Um, like I said, I probably go, if you're going with taste and you want a good protein bar, I probably go between Pure Protein and Robert Irvine. I recommend the new show, Creatine first final hydrate they have. Three flavors. That's good to know, Sammy. Creatine retains water, so that's not good while on a cut. No, 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 you want that because it's all intracellular water, which means it's water retained in the muscle, which helps keep you looking fuller, you know, while you're working out as well. So, um, and creatine also has other benefits like cognitive abilities, um, help build muscle and strength. Um, so I would always choose stuff like that. But yeah, like it's intracellular water retention, so it's in the muscle mars. It's not, you're not gonna get bloated or anything like that. All right guys, I'm gonna be right back. <laughs>
<laughs> some of these comments. Uh, the cookie dough one is all right. Oh, Vidboy, what's up, dude? How are you? The cookie dough one is all right, but it has a weird uh, grainy aftertaste. And the glazed donut does not taste like a glazed donut. I will say some of the products listed as those names or those specific flavors. Sometimes they overreach themselves and most of the time they don't taste like how they seem. But sometimes they're, it's like a hit or miss. Like I said, with anything, it's, it's really a hit or miss. Um, so it really just depends. Like Bear Bell bars are pretty good. They're usually a hit. If you can find Bear Bell bars, they're usually at Trader Joe's. Certain protein bars or certain ways they make certain products are just hit and misses. Sammy, six, 60 servings for 35 bucks. Um, Bid boy, hey dude, what's your favorite protein shake? My favorite, what I usually do, or what I've been doing, is uh, Amp, Waybolic. Um, I get the hydrolyzed, it's caffeine infused too. Um, that's specifically too if I'm cutting, and then I'll just choose regular Waybolic if I'm not cutting. But that one's a really, really good brand. I love, I love that one. It's a little pricey too, but I think it's well worth it. And hydrolyzed is just better for you digestibility wise and better protein to calorie ratio. Um, so I think it definitely works well too with my stomach. Uh, bathroom break as usual. Yes, it is. Uh, just a random dude. I mean, it's vegan, so I don't know what I really expected. I will say it's good for a vegan bar. Like, I don't know that many vegan bars that, like, have those macros. So, I mean, I can't think of any. I really can't think of any off the top of my head. I don't know. I'm not sure. The Cookie Dough Fit Crunch Bar, the 30 grams of protein, is a hit. Um, I had it today as my dinner. Yeah, the cookie dough one is really good. Wait, the 30 gram bar. Oh, so... Sammy, how many calories is that one? Because I know the one that's 19... Uh, or it's like 16 grams of protein. It's like 190, 210 calories. So the 30 gram must be, what, 400? Something like that? I'm thinking it's like 400, right? I'm assuming it's like 400. <laughs> All right guys, today we got, so I got this huge Mio, uh, has sodium in it, but this one's really good because obviously I wanna stay hydrated, but I also wanna have some type of electrolytes like sodium, for example, because it's gonna help hold on to fluid. Um, it's gonna be different for everybody. If you're more active, generally you're gonna need more fluid, more electrolytes, so. That's without any pre-existing medical condition, just as adds up. So you gotta do what works for you. Three eighty, good lord. Yeah, that makes sense with the Fit Crunch bars, because the the Fit Crunch bars, the ones usually at Costco are like one ninety to hundred, and they only have sixteen grams. But I will say the taste of it is ridiculously good. It is really, really good. Mio's great. Mio's really good. I do like Mio. And like I said, the lemonade one is just like my favorite. I can never stop drinking the lemonade one. It's like one of my favorites. Perfect then. Yeah, usually um, during a bulk, I'll definitely add. All right, here comes Aid. Aid is back, you guys. And Aid. And Aid's not back. Okay. Uh, that fits in my macros. 
Cade was in and then he was out. Okay. Uh, 27 carbs, 16 grams of fat, 30 grams of protein, 380 calories. Yeah, like I said, Fit Crunch Bars is, um, it's a really, really like sweet protein bar or like tasty protein bar. So I kind of could expect that. Especially all the fats and the carbs is what probably really essentially makes it taste even better. And you'll see that too with like Pure Protein or like the Kirkland brand, they have less carbs and fats. Um, so it's not going to taste as sweet, but it's going to taste still pretty decent. I remember um, like back in the early 2000s. Uh, when I used to work at a gym and I was behind the desk, pure protein was actually like one of my first protein bars I think I had. I'm pretty sure that I had. And oddly enough, I did my first promo with them. It was really weird. Um, thank you all for trying all the protein powders in the past. Um, so we don't have to. <laughs> I might have to try it out. I need to hit like 2,700. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing too. Uh, just I'm doing exactly like 27 2800 calories so um, I try to like if I can't consume my calories or if I had trouble consuming it I'll usually go for that but honestly I've been doing so many fast food places I think it's really easy for me to consume 2700 calories like today I'm gonna post it in the next like day or two you guys I did Korean barbecue Korean fried chicken actually and that was really hard to get under 500 calories. That was really, really hard. Uh, because you told me how the old school protein bars were trash. Yeah. No, the uh, the old school protein bars were ridiculously horrible. Like I said, pure protein back in the day used to taste really bad. Whey bollock, I'm taking now amp whey bollock used to taste like it would taste like throw up honestly you would not be able to get that that protein powder down that protein powder and the protein bars oh my god i think because of products like that you just didn't want to even have protein and nowadays like if i grew up nowadays i'd be so grateful that i had all this stuff i engage in light trolling not malicious kind unless people are yeah, no, I, I trust me, I understand, CB. I get you. But just like I said, uh, I don't think it's really hard for. I mean, for me personally, I don't. It's not hard for at all for me to hit that many calories. But I would, I used to aim to hit between like three thousand to thirty-five hundred calories. But that was also when I was like hitting my legs harder, so I'm not doing it as much. So I don't think I really need the I don't feel the need to eat as much calories as I used to it used to be like WWE in these chats in the past. yeah it did no it used to be like that it used to be crazy like that now it's a little better uh, so yeah it's definitely way better than it was before yeah cuz I'm bulking right now gained 10 pounds last month okay that's that's not bad I usually go with anywhere from like maybe 1% of body weight um, 0.5 to 1% maybe uh, I think that that generally was like each week yeah so like 0.5 to 1% of body weight each week so if you weigh like 100 pounds it'd be like anywhere from obviously 0.5 pounds to 1 pound per week which is like 4 pounds in a month um, so I think that's good Walmart has GNC Way Bog for 30 some bucks. That's pretty cheap then, Sammy. If that's the case, I'd grab it. In Walmart? Really? The GNC was maybe it's the It might be the um the the smaller bag option, Sammy. Cause the big three pound tub, I think that's what it was, three three pound tub. Um it was like 70 bucks in GNC. I'm gonna be back really quick. How long are you streaming for? Usually, uh, I usually stream for like another hour, so like 
two, three hours till 10, till 10 or so. Until 10 Eastern time. Yeah, and then eventually, you know, later down on the road, I'll start streaming for a little bit more. Yeah, it's the small bag ripoff. No, it really is. The small bag, I just never understood it. Just give me the three pound tub. They should make bigger tubs, really. They should make like 10 pound tubs. Because if that's the case, I would just buy the 10 pound tub. That 10 pound tub would probably cost probably like 70, 80 bucks, but I'd buy it because I'd probably save money. It'd be like three in one. My gym has better ones. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like small, I, I will say the small bag ones were really popular, I think, too, growing up. Um, guys, Mike wind up streaming until 12 a.m. No, honestly, I would if I wasn't kept up last night because uh, I came home a little later and now it's kind of affecting my day today so uh, because of that I have to cut it off uh, radioactive game do I ride bikes I haven't ridden uh, I haven't rode a bike in a while I'm not gonna lie I wasn't the greatest at riding bikes like I just rode it just to ride the bike Sammy cynical <laughs> But yeah, I used to love, uh, who's that on my other side? I can barely see. Can't see that. Guys, I gotta fix this. Blend, add. Who is that? Oh, Mustang, what's up, how are you? Mustang, how you been? Gamer, you ride bikes? I can, hello, I can. Oh, Mustang, you could ride bikes. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> We're talking about bikes though, right? Yeah, like I could ride bikes. Like I love scooters. Uh, I used to love the scooters growing up. I can't even see my name either. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think, I don't know. Even if I change the blending, darken. Oh, no, sorry, wrong one. Normal. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't really change that one. I don't know. Blend, add, darken. Oh, nope. Lighten. Yeah, I can't really see it. It's okay. In time, it will fix itself. Go Mustangs, my old high school mascot. Oh, that's a good one. Sammy, I like that. We used to have the bears. The bears as our mascot. My sleeping powders are trash. It messed up my productivity. Same like, wow, I've been in this space for more than six months. What, just in general? Maybe is, you know what I always do um, whenever I feel like my productivity is getting low I usually like clean out my room or I'll do something like that because I think a huge step is to kind of have like um, I think about it like this if you have a clean room you have like a clean like mind space um, and you can kind of like focus a lot better I think also as far as productivity goes I think if you make your bed in the morning too it's kind of like showing your your uh, subconscious hey like we're starting the day I just got one task done now maybe I can get another task done and let's keep this going. I think that's a good way. It's Twitch's fault at choosing these colors. Oh, you didn't choose them on your own? I thought you chose them on your own. I didn't choose these colors for you. <laughs> I chose the colors in the background, but not anything else. Go Mustangs. Same like I've been in space. Uh, I was about to choose, close this client today and he failed. On the call last minute, super annoying. You know, you know what it is? I think um, a big thing too, I learned from 
currently at Buffalo Wild Wings and the fire alarm has been going off for a minute. No way. Vamp. Repeat. I would not. I probably wouldn't stay there. I'd probably just leave. I'd personally leave. Oh, Jenner, what's up? Marky, how are you, dude? <laughs> it's like Mikey. <laughs> Marky, Jenner, hey guys, how are you? Yeah, um, P, I probably wouldn't stay at Buffalo Wild Wings if your fire alarm's going out. I do have to do a Buffalo Wild Wings um, meal because I haven't been there in a while, so I gotta see the menu again. How are the blizzards? Oh, you're talking about from Sonic? They were pretty good, dude. The Reese's. I couldn't eat the Reese's. I had one bite and I had to give it up. The Reese's was too much. It was too many calories. Snickers was pretty good, though. Snickers, what was the other one? The Cocoa Dip Chocolate. That was pretty good. I will say the Snickers was way better. I don't think I could change the colors. Ah, yeah. oh, that's all right. It's all right, Mustang. Just come hang out. Just talk. That large one was freaking huge. Dude, you're telling me. And then um, I had a lot of people ask me like, hey, it's not feasible for you to compare that. You know, I think the whole idea behind that too was um, just to show the caloric intake of one of the highest calories and kind of like the average range of each calorie. Like if you went past the minis, you're going over 500 regardless I got another video in the works Sammy but I actually have um, I already did a sonic one I did a meal under 500 calories and then um, what else did I do I did oh Korean fried chicken that was another good one honey buns have a lot of calories yeah honey buns have a lot a lot of calories I think there's, I don't know who made this exactly, Rashad, but I think it's Quest. Somebody made a low calorie bun, like honey bun or something like that. Um, maybe it was Legendary, because Legendary is known to make like Pop Tarts and stuff like that and donuts. But somebody made like a honey bun or something similar to that. And I will say the donuts were pretty good. And uh, I, I definitely will say. Honey buns, I don't know, you're kidding. I think, I think it was Quest. I mean, I'm sorry, I think it was Legendary. Um, just because they're known for making Pop-Tarts in the, in the donuts. I could be wrong. I never heard of Korean chicken, never heard of it. Not my area, that's cool, man. I'll be watching it, keep up the good work. I am in South Ch Texas. Oh, really? DQ is popular. Yeah, Dairy Queen is really popular. Um, because it's always nice here, or, or like generally all year round by you, right, Mark? You guys don't have it any like cold. I mean, Sammy's from Texas too, actually, which is really funny. He's from Corpus Christi. Korean fried chicken is the best fried chicken. Yeah, that was pretty hard to do. I'm not gonna lie, when I did the, the Korean fried chicken, that was ridiculously hard. I asked for grilled, I couldn't do grilled. <laughs> Everyone from America? Uh, yeah, I think so. Once in a while, I have my Canadian friends come in. But I'm pretty sure Mustang. Why, Mustang, where are you from? I've had actually a lot of different countries. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. I think I've had Netherlands. I've had um, Switzerland, I'm thinking. Oh, Lorado, Texas. Okay, that's different, Mark. Yeah, Sammy's from, I guess, the northern part, I'm assuming. Because Sammy implied you're from the south. Yeah, I will say pickles have zero cows, which is my favorite, which is why I'll eat the entire in one jar. And one sitting guilt-free. Pickles are really, really good. Um... Yeah, I love the pickles. I will say that I definitely, definitely love the pickles. Well, hello everyone from here. 
Oh, no way. Uh, Mustang, you're from Europe. How's that, dude? How's your health care over there? I asked uh, one of my buddies that was from Canada how his health care was and he, he basically told me it wasn't it wasn't great because the wait times were ridiculous to get a doctor. Uh, for me, better than yours, yeah, it, it probably is. <laughs> Honestly, it probably is. Well, it's definitely better than mine. Uh, be careful some pickles have calories and some don't yeah you definitely have to be wary um, sometimes they'll they'll throw an extra I don't know like oils or butters or something like that and you wouldn't even realize it but they will have extra calories for no reason I usually like the uh, the kosher dill pickles those are really good well I grew up on those America healthcare system is shambles. I'm not a fan of pickles, but I became an answer. Well, I will say, um, at least I don't go into the department if something happens to me. What do you mean by department? Mustang, like you won't go into, oh, you mean like debt? Okay, so if you go into debt, you still have insurance basically is what you're saying. Uh, healthcare system is shambles. I'm not a fan of pickles, but I became more interested with them. The only videos that really get views are my best rap duel ones, which are the easiest. I would just keep doing that then, if, if that's the case. If you do something and it works for you, you're better off just keep doing it again, to be honest. Come back, Captain Nicole. I agree. I might miss all the video. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, so it is debt. So, yeah, debt is just D-E-B-T. That's what I thought you meant. So, I mean, it's it's fine. It doesn't matter. But I, I thought you meant that. Um, how do you stop your thighs from shaving while you walk? Um, I don't... I'm not really too sure, Prashad. I mean, you could lose weight. Um, and just hope that your body pulls the fat from your thighs first. Um, I don't know if anybody else has any other ideas with that. I try to go on long runs, but after a couple of minutes, my thighs turn red. It hurts a lot. Are you heavier set for shot, or do you just have like thick thighs that are like just have a lot of muscle mass? How can I lose weight if I can't walk? Well, it's always, I will say this, diet is the most important part. So diet is like 80 to 90% of how you're going to look. And then comes the physical activity and stuff like that. English is my second language, not perfect. I might make some mistakes. Oh, no, I mean, it's, at least you know another language, uh, Mustang. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Then. It's not a big deal to me, trust me. If you know two languages, good for you, you know. Come back, cynical one. I think it had something to do with someone aggressively cloning her account. Yeah, it, it did. No, it definitely did, uh, CB. So I guess she just got over it. Uh, Rashad. That. Yeah, Rashad, I would just stick into a calorie deficit and just consume your body weight in protein or a little bit less, depending on how... Um, big, heavy set, um, or obese you might be. That's what I really do. Hey Mikey, what would you recommend to be the best workout split? And do you work out every muscle throughout your split? Also, if you have the same workouts all the time, well, if I stop seeing gains. Um, okay, so there's, like, you could tailor this down to a few things. So would you recommend the best workout? So the best workout split is really gonna first depend on how many days a week you work out. So JPR, if you only could do three, just do three and then do like upper, lower, full body. I personally like to hit the muscle twice a week. So let's say I do chest Monday and then chest on Fridays. Um, because one, I could split up the volume. So I'll do anywhere from 10 to 20 sets per muscle per week. So let's say five sets on Monday for chest, 
five sets on Thursday or Friday because that allows me time enough time to recover and I can still hit the muscle hard. Um, that, that would be one thing. My, my specific workout right now is upper lower. I rest Wednesday and then I do upper lower. Sometimes I can't do four days, so I just do full body, if that makes sense. I usually keep it the same for two to three months and I progressively overload on either reps or weight, which is what you should do with good form. Um, and then uh, and then I kind of switch it up because one, you want to switch it up to hit different muscle groups. Um, maybe you just might like a particular machine better. Um, it's always good to change it up once in a while too. I'm not saying change it up every workout. I would change it up maybe every like three, four months because that allows you time to progressively overload, um, fix your form maybe on certain um, exercises. And then at, at one point, you're just probably not gonna enjoy doing like the hack squat machine for three, four months straight anymore, you know? So, and sometimes you don't even have to do, you know, even if you were to do the same workout, sometimes you could change the exercise order. So if you're doing hack squat, then like, um, lying leg curl, maybe you could do lying leg curl first and then hack squat to see how you feel, you know? I also do understand a bit of Russian. Oh, Mustang, that's pretty good. Um, no, that's actually really good. Yeah, I never, I never personally been to Europe, so I don't, I don't know, um, but I do know a lot of Europeans that come here. They're usually pretty cool, so I mean I don't have an issue really with anybody. So, <laughs> um, Rashad, you're six three two fifty. Yeah, like I said, I would do anywhere from 0.8 grams to one gram per pound. Um, just because even if you were to do one gram per pound, you're you're and you said you're heavy set, it's probably not all muscle, so. Um, I probably do anywhere from 200 to 250 grams of protein per day. You can go up to one pound if you want. Just depends really on you. Um, and then make sure you're in a calorie deficit. So between those two, you're just going to, regardless, you're going to lose weight. You're going to lose fat majority. And then you do some type of resistance training. You sleep well. You get your fluids in. Um, you control your stress management. And you, you really should be good. Honestly, it's nothing really hard. That's what I do, five sets, and I keep my reps between eight to 10. All right, guys, I'm gonna be right back.
Sorry, you guys joining when I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right. Um, thanks, you guys. I don't have any friends, so this is the first time. Oh, Rashad. I mean, dude, you're welcome anytime. This is a, a friendly neighborhood. <laughs> Your friendly uh, local neighborhood Spider-Man. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you're always welcome to join anytime you want. Uh, we don't judge here, and we only have a good time every time. Thanks, you guys. Uh, we are friends, Rashad, no worries, we got your back. What Sammy said, Mikey, you should make a video on Canes under 500 if you order. Any contenders, you can do it. Gamer, that's a good one, I might do that one. Yeah, actually, that's a good one. Um, I'll definitely do that one. Still tastes good. You have to ask for naked tenders. I always wondered about that because I didn't ask them last time. I just ordered off the kiosk. Well, I wasn't sure if they were able to do that or not. I'm gonna go back and see. Rashad, I'm worried he's not coming back. <laughs> no, don't worry, Rashad, I am. Remember when Mike ordered the naked chicken on his birthday? Wait, I ordered naked chicken on my birthday? Um. I don't remember that, Sammy. Sammy, which video are you talking about? Richard, what's up, dude? How are you? Joining Mikey Stream, piss face again. <laughs> Sorry, Rich. How you been, dude? He is, trust me. I just gotta ask him. It takes an extra 10 minutes. Oh, really? Do they? I'm, I'm so confused. So they have, they have the chicken tenders at Raisin Cane's and then they bread it and then they fry it? I wonder, I always wondered how that works. All right, so next time I go, I'm gonna ask for the, uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, so, ah, uh, I didn't know that. So they probably get it, what, frozen out of a bag, Raisin Cane's, and then they bread it, or is it fresh? I always, I, I wonder about that too. So is it like 70 calories each? So it goes from 130 calories to, Mikey, what's good? Oh, Bubble, what's up, dude? How are you? I wonder if they can grill it. Lag? Oh, it's a lag on my thing? Is it really? How's it now? Is there any lag now? I hope there's no lag. There shouldn't be a lag. fixed right now yeah I don't know that was weird I, I thought there was a lag too at one point I had that feeling it was weird um, but bubble what's up dude how are you all right so I'll go to raising canes I'll go to golden corral because I got to do that one I do a lot of spots um, I got to go to buffet I got to do so many you guys I have some really really cool ideas 
like I said, I feel like my ideas definitely just get better and better and better. Man, I wish they could bring canes to the Bay Area. I will say because I'm in Jersey, I had to travel to New York to go to Kings, so. Just as a heads up. <laughs> Mikey, next time you go to Aldi, you should grab this beef jerky by Sims. So I was like, Mikey needs to know about it. Oh, Bubble, I saw it. Um, the Sims one is really good. I had that one. It's, I had the one, I think yeah, I went to it on my last Aldi, I picked it up. It wasn't expensive too. I think it was like three or four bucks. But yeah, but I saw it was pretty good. Sims is usually a good brand because they have turkey jerky, or they have the the uh, the sticks, right? I think it's the same company. They have like the turkey sticks or something like that because I remember seeing that. But Bubba, they are really good. Gamer, I definitely I'm gonna go. Maybe I can go next week. And go check out Raising Cane and Golden Corral. Yep, they make the turkey slices too. I get those. I like it. I definitely like that idea. A seafood spot segment. That's a good one, CB. If you're ordering seafood, or if you're ordering seafood right now, that's a good one, actually. I like that. Yo, I tried DMing you after you accepted, but it keeps saying it. you weren't notified. About the messages and didn't receive it I have to uh, let me let me check maybe I did receive it but I just didn't see it I don't know I'll check on it um, as soon as the stream is or I'll probably check on it tomorrow to be honest just just because uh, it's getting late <laughs> and I'm not trying to go through my phone this late usually I just hit the bed Monday, Mikey thought I was about to leave the chat good time. <laughs> yeah, everybody goes in and out. So I don't even know who comes. I don't know who stays. But if you stay, it's a good day. Um, but for Sunday, you guys, just as a heads up, I think I'm doing... Uh, I was going to post my Auntie Anne's or Auntie Anne's. So uh, that's going to be a good one. And that one was actually at a Walmart, which was really funny. So I can't wait to show that one off. And then, hey, has anybody asked you before about building a community? Um, I think I've had a lot of people ask me about that one, to be honest, just. But CB, yeah, like I said, uh, Seafood Spot is actually really, really good. I could probably do better alternatives or better like lower calorie, higher protein alternatives. I like that one a lot. No worries, Mike. Well, I went to Red Lobster, so I don't know if that counts. Mike's DMs are like a mile song, yeah. Uh, Jesus, what's up? What do you think about low carb keto? Um, I think if if that's kind of your preference, that's okay, but. Um, the biggest takeaway is really just being the calorie deficit. One, being the calorie deficit if you want to lose weight. And then two, you need to just consume enough protein because if you don't, you're going to start looking skinny fat. You're going to lose your muscle um, and you're just going to look smaller than you were before. So the biggest really takeaway. And then really, um, as far as fats and carbs go, it's really your preference. Um, if you do a little bit more carbs, just remember you might hold on to a little bit more water because every gram of carbohydrate holds two to three grams of water. Um, at the same time though, you need carbohydrates to fuel your workout, so you gotta use it interchangeably. Um, and I wouldn't go less than 0.3 grams per pound of fats and then the rest be your carbohydrates. Just because fats um, integrate with your sex hormones, so um, if your testosterone is slowly going down, down, um, yeah, you need it. You're going to need to keep that muscle. Is there a certain reason you haven't made one yet? Um, uh, I don't know. I just, I really just have my email and stuff like that. I don't, I don't do any like discords or anything like that I just 
I just have my email, I have my socials, and that's really it. But yeah, uh, thanks for that answer. What's the best way to truly find out your maintenance calories? Um, what I would probably do, well, there's two methods. You could either just multiply your body weight times 15, and then you could use that as a general guideline. So like if you weigh 100 pounds times 15, it's probably around 1,500. You take those calories, and then um, for the next two to three weeks, you weigh yourself like three, four times in the morning, uh, before breakfast, after you go to the bathroom with minimal clothing on, and then you get the average. If your weight kind of stays the same, that means that you're uh, that means one, you gotta make sure you're tracking right too and you're weighing everything raw. If your weight kinda stays the same, that means those are your calories. If you're gaining weight, like a pound or two a week, you, you're probably eating a little bit more calories or you could be tracking wrong. So just understand that. Um, it's not like a black and uh, white answer, you know. Yeah, I wasn't trying to build you a Discord. It's this platform called School. If you know Alex Harmonzi, he's recently made a huge investment, so it's really picking up steam. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just I gotta, I gotta really look into it. To be honest, I, I don't really make like quick suggestions like that. I, I would really have to look into it. I don't really go into any platform that quick, too. Just joking mode, yeah, in the format. Uh, is there's a mile long? Mile long for which one, CB? Are you talking about? But yeah, um, Jesus, that's what I would do. Um, or you could just use the Harris Benedict equation, that's good too. So, I, uh, yeah, totally understandable. Um, CB mile long mile long and reference for what it wait what did you say before that you're taking that out and putting that in <laughs> uh, but like I said Jesus I hope that helped you um, that's really my best answer and I think it's really one of the best answers you're gonna get just understand like whenever you try to find your maintenance at first it's gonna be really hard because one you don't know what you're doing two you don't know if you're really doing everything correctly um, and like I said when you get into anything new it's just you're kind of please don't block James I gotta look through the whole chat <laughs> I don't even know which day it was I'm not, I'm not doing it purposely, James. It's just like, I gotta look through my previous chats. I'm in back in true form. It was the Hooter on birthday. You wanted to order the Naked Wings last year. Oh, wow, Sammy. I can't believe you remember that one. Yeah, 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 Sammy. That's actually pretty funny, dude. I remember that now. James, don't worry. You could go to the video where you find James, if you find the previous stream and the date and you tell me the date, um, I'll go into that and then I'll do I'll unblock you or whatever. I'll unblock your other one. Because you have like five different users. Your DMs are a mile long. You have a lot of DMs. Yeah, I have I have a ridiculous amount. Um, like I said, I try to answer everybody, but sometimes I'm gonna be honest. Where you're doing content creation. Um, oh, Taco Bell, what's up? How are you? Thank you, Taco Bell. You like the setup? Um, I'm gonna be honest. When you when you answer so many comments, whether they're positive, well, majority of the time if they're negative, obviously, um, I try not to. I just try to answer into the nicest way I can. It will take a toll on to you, like mentally. Or that's why I try to answer everyone's perspective from like a really like calm and neutral mind and not to be upset because they answered the way they did from like a 30 second reel. Um, it does take a lot of energy out of you. So I too grew up with, yeah, I, uh, I think that was because honestly, um, between like my dad passing when I was a kid growing up. So um, that, that, that was like pretty stressful for me growing up. 
And uh, it was like also too because like I didn't grow up like rich or anything or even like mildly decent. So it was always bad. It wasn't it wasn't the greatest situation. You know, some weeks I would hope that we had electricity or gas so we could cook. Um, so those were crazy times for me. But I know everything's gonna completely change soon. Still I am. I'm cool with that. Hot dogs are yummy. <laughs> Hot dogs are really good. Good night, Sammy. Just peace and love. Oh wait, just sorry, Sammy's leaving. Hand to bed. Sammy, peace and love. Uh, Jesus, I'm glad you got something out of that. Um, and I hope that helped you out a lot. But Taco Bell, I would just um, just go into calorie deficit and make sure you track everything. I always tell all my buddies that like always tell me like how do I get in shape like just honestly track it it's this, it's the same thing as if you were to budget right same concept you want to know how much income you're getting and you want to know how much you're spending generally then you kind of get an idea of how much you're saving you know but I don't want <laughs> like you don't have to I'm just saying it's just one method it's just one tool um, you could just look at your plate have three to four meals a day make sure most of your plate is protein like a lean source of protein and then the other half came here for chest to be honest I haven't done the chest in a while <laughs> I really have not done the, the, the chest in a while good night Sammy Sammy we will see you Monday um, but yeah, like I said, uh, prior guys, I'm going to post my Auntie Anne's, hopefully pretty soon, hopefully by Sunday. And then I will, I'm trying to think, I have my Sonic and then I did uh, Korean fried chicken. So I have those. Auntie Anne's and I'm all of them. <laughs> Dude, Auntie Anne's, um, it's funny because the guy actually gave me the pretzel for free. Um, I, I didn't want to say that because I don't want to get the guy in trouble. But he actually gave me that pretzel for free. And the caramel sauce, um, I, yeah, I, I got charged for that one. But the pretzel he gave away for free because it was so hard. It was like rock solid. But with the caramel sauce, it still made it pretty good. I might try to lose a little bit of weight. I live with my parents though and don't want to offend them by not eating a lot. Honestly, I was in the same boat, but I think it's to a point where you have to draw the line and do what makes you really happy. You can't go by, you know, whether you're gonna hurt somebody else's feelings, taco. This is, you're doing this for you. You're not doing this for anything, for anybody else. You gotta remember that. Damn, you lucky. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, I think, I think it's just because the present wasn't like rock solid. Still pretty good though. I didn't mind it. And he was working both. Um, so I guess Subway and Auntie Anne's were they were collabed together. Uh, so he worked both at Subway and then Auntie Anne's. And I was like, wow, this is really confusing. I mean, it's free. Yeah, no, the the free point was uh, that was honestly the best part. Um. But yeah, like I said, Taco, you gotta you gotta do this for yourself, man. I was in the same boat, but you have to learn to kind of put your foot down, say no. If you don't want anything, you don't have to do anything you don't want to. You have free will. We all have free will. We make our own choices. Um, and then you you know you you get the outcome from your choices that you choose. Have you tried the new Costco cookie? I have not. I have to check that out. I have not tried the new Costco cookie. It sounds pretty good. Actually, it sounds really, really good. Maybe I might compare it to something. I'm trying to think what I would compare it to. You have to try it. It's pretty good. How many calories is it?
That is more than the crumble cookie. That is really more than the crumble cookie. That's insane. It's pretty big though. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I might have to, um, if that's the case, I might have to get a Costco cookie and then go to Crumble Cookie and then see the comparison. I bet. No, I, I might have to see that comparison now, because that's nuts. That's pretty crazy. That is definitely pretty crazy. I didn't know, so I told my mom to get two and I didn't even finish. <laughs> They're pretty cheap though. What, how much is the cookie over there? It's like three, four bucks, right? Because Costco is not even that expensive. Um, the crumble cookie actually, I don't think the crumble cookie was that expensive either. I think it was probably a little bit more. But it really wasn't that expensive. What are your plans for the weekend, Mikey? Oh, it was $2.49 for the Costco cookie, right? That's actually really cheap. Uh, my plans, I don't know yet. I kind of just go with the flow. Um, the only plan I have is really just working out in the morning um, and then just working on a few more like um, emails going back and forth. Um, that's really it. I don't have anything crazy. Usually during the weekends, I kind of, one, I mean like I relax with social media because I'm already cool. I filmed, I did everything and then I just got to edit it myself and then I go from there. It's 750 calories just checked. Oof, my God, <laughs> I do. That is nuts. No, that is, that is pretty nuts. How are things with you and your mother and sister? Love with you. Uh, it's it's okay. It's getting better. I mean, I kind of just do my own thing at this point. It's just like, yeah, like I said, I just, I really just kind of focus on me and my work. And that's it. You know, I think that's what everybody should be doing is kind of just focusing on you first. Um, your success in doing something you love and, you know, everything else just kind of falls in place. Whatever else happens on the outside, just remember you can't control certain things. And you got other crazy cop story. Uh, I do, but we'll talk about it next. Uh, we'll talk about Monday. Yeah, I have a few. I have a few. Definitely hold off till Monday. Yeah, do you guys have anything? Uh, are you guys going to the gym tomorrow? Do you guys have anything planned tomorrow? I think I was going to do... Uh, I was probably going to do upper body tomorrow. And just kind of go from there. I was definitely going to go from there. Profound advice, dude. <laughs> yeah, I think... Um, I think I was probably gonna do upper body tomorrow. Most likely, because I did legs on, well I did legs Wednesday, and then I took off today. And now I'm feeling it in my hamstrings and my glutes, so. Which is good. We'll look forward to Monday. All right there, which is just. Taco, I don't know if you're still there on my Twitch. But, yeah, like I said, um, just try to take it one day at a time and then just really go from there. We got to watch some crazy strange addictions. One time. All right. I'll, I'll post it. I'll probably put it up next time, to be honest. And then we can just kind of go over it. Oh, Cam, what's up? Cam, how are you? There he is, the man. <laughs> 
you gotta watch some crazy uh, addictions. Yeah, maybe I'll put that on next time. Even the crazy savings are a little crazy. I'm great, you. I'm good. Um, 10,000 ways to die was a crazy. Yeah, that was a really good one. But I feel like there's so many different ways to die. It's like, at that point, I feel like you're too focused now on all the negative aspects of how to die. And it's like, you don't start living now, you know? I thought it was cool for the time being, though. My addiction as well. I should be on that show. What's your addiction? I don't think I ever had any crazy addictions. Maybe, like... I don't think I ever had any crazy addictions. I'm trying to think. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think so. There was the one lady who cooked lasagna in the dishwasher. Oh. Because she wanted to save, like, ten cents. Oh, my God. She cooked the... Wait, she cooked the lasagna in the dishwasher? Oh, my God. How do you even cook lasagna in the dishwasher? My addiction is born. Okay. I mean, I will say probably that's obviously not easy to, to break. Um, because I think a lot of people around my age or millennials grew up. Uh, some of them watch that, so. Um, I think it's definitely hard, but I think at the end of the day, you got to tell yourself, like, one, it's not real. And two, you're not there. And three, you're kind of just setting yourself up for failure because you're just setting up unreasonable expectations when, you know, you're you're in that position. So I would probably not go for it. He died from trying a sausage too big. For his life. Okay, that's different. Well, it is real. I'm a girl 99%. <laughs> How do you keep self-control and not go over your maintenance calories? Well, I think I'm at a point where um, sometimes I'll just prep myself for the, the whole day and I kind of bring my food with me. Um, if I do the fast foods, um, like I said, I'll, I'll do like low calorie meals. So even if I eat the meal, it's still pretty low calories. And then I'll kind of just balance it out with the rest of my day. Like if I eat the meal, I probably won't eat the potato I had later on. You know? just save it for later um, so I kind of balance it out I watched a video yesterday and the dude was just like you height covered in arms <laughs> oh my god Kemp. Jesus um, damn oil crack how long did it take for you to heal from your major breakup oof um, it took a while like I don't think it's easy for anybody at the beginning or at, at, at any time, like when you plan on being with somebody forever. Um, I want to say, honestly, probably like two years, two, three years. So, and that was just me trying to fix myself, you know. Arturo, what's up, dude? How are you? Arturo, how you been? <laughs> and all her husband's friends left. Ugh. I try switching to zero low calorie drinks, which is good. CB, definitely always what you want to do. Because we don't drink our calories, we eat our calories. Um, Arturo, how you been? How's everything? Today we got Mio, you guys. This one's actually a really cool bottle, too. i never seen this one. They used to have uh, the Mio's with 30 milligrams. I guess they raised it at 35. But... We like water and we like electrolytes, so. <laughs> Damn, censored my comment. What was your comment? <laughs> I'm good. Arturo, did you go to the gym? Because that's a different type of heartbreak because the ex expect expectations are different. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think the problem is you got to understand, like, anything can happen, like, like anything in a relationship is possible. Like you could break up with her, they could break up with you. Um, they can end up passing away. You can end up passing away. You know, like forbid. You know, God forbid. Um, 
they could cheat on you, you could cheat on them. There's, you know, there's so many different possibilities, but, you know, there's, it, you just gotta remember, like, if it happens, everything happens for a reason, and you can't really do much about it. And you don't wanna waste your time thinking about it regardless. You just kinda wanna move on, just better yourself, learn something from it, and then just really move on because we can't live in the past. Since on my spring break, I went to the gym and I did bicep curls, legs, and chest. Ooh. What did you do it all in one day? Arturo, or you split it up. Because that's a different type of heartbreak because of expectations. Uh, I said it's been a month since I watched YouTube. Hopefully it stays out. <laughs> that was in response to Justin's comment about me. It's ah. I split it up. Oh, okay, so you did like, so you did buys one day, legs one day, and chest one day? Is that how you did it? So you went three times, you're telling me, in like one week? Okay, that's a good way to do it. I hate the summer because now I got to start doing cardio soon. <laughs> or at least I got to start walking something more. <laughs> uh, not YouTube porn. Ah. Had to take advantage of spring break. Yeah, no, I agree. Well, I don't really do much for spring break. I just kind of let it be. Um, because you were planning to spend the rest of your life with her, and that was your most serious relationship. So I'm profound way of looking at it. But we definitely should not cheat on ourselves. Yeah, like I, like I said, it's like anything can anything is possible. You know, anything can happen. Like you could she could cheat on you you can cheat on her but you gotta remember also at the end of the day good people still make mistakes it's not just um bad people that make mistakes good people make mistakes too but i think if you're working it and you're doing it that's what makes you a bad person that that's what really makes you like a shitty individual is the fact that you know what you're doing is wrong and then you keep doing it See ya Monday. Just, I'll see you Monday. Peace and love. Arturo, what did you end up doing for spring break? Did you uh, stay home or did you go out? This is true. Anything is possible. Yeah, like I said, anything is possible. So, um, I just gotta really not focus on the past. Because it's like, what are you gonna do? You're just really missing out on things you could be doing right now and just bettering yourself. That's how I look at it, that's how I do it. It's a good thing you're being real about it. <laughs> I have to be real, but if it wasn't real then I would just, I wouldn't feel good about saying it regardless, you know? Play video games, go to the gym and then go to my cousin's house, I like that. I did the same thing, but except the video games yesterday. I haven't played video games in a while, so a lot of people throw on cookie cutter advice, which they rarely follow. Yeah, I made mistakes when it came to room. I, I, I did the same thing. Like, I, I mean, like I said, I'm human. I, I, I make mistakes too. So, but. We can't live in the past. What are we going to do? We're going to waste more time thinking about it. What's the point of that? Why is that going to better you, you know, today? It's not. It's not going to do anything. You're just losing out on time you could have had doing something better, enjoying your life, really. So, um, that's my best, that's my best advice, really. Played video games. What, what video games did you play, Arturo? Did you play Call of Duty? <laughs> That's true. I used to play stuff like that, like Call of Duty. I had Madden, I had NBA 2K, uh, MLB. Well, that's also when I played video games more. We're human, we're not crappy people yet. You know, it's just everybody's learning. 
from each other. Everybody's learning from their own lessons. Thank you for the advice. No problem, CB. Play Warzone. Oh, that's that's popular. Fortnite, 2K, Madden, Apex. Apex, my buddy loves Apex. Um, and he always talks about it so much. So that's the only reason why I know Apex. Because he literally talks about it all the time. Is Apex fun? What is uh what is Apex similar to? Isn't it similar to like Fortnite or something like that? Or like Warzone? Yeah, because he would talk about it all the time. He would like legitimately talk about it all the time. Apex is good, it's similar to Call of Duty. Ah, okay. So why what makes Apex better like than Call of Duty that you don't play Call of Duty? Does it have just more features? I'm saying that because I haven't played Call of Duty in a minute. Because there are a lot of people who pride themselves in advice they don't follow at all. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the big thing with me. Um, I don't know, I just have too much one I've had like a lot of experience just by I think a little bit of everything in my life and then just being around certain people just kind of made me tell myself I don't want to be like that and I don't want to end up like that so that really opened up my mind too um, and it, it's really what I th that's really what I think to be honest it's like my surroundings um, that was really a big one with me personally like Call of Duty more, but Apex has legends that you pick and they have power-ups and you go against people in a battle royale. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually really cool, it's horrible. Oh, Rashad, I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> this late, why don't you have, um, I mean, if I get hungry this late, I usually just end up drinking more water, have a whey protein shake, you have like, maybe like a chicken salad, throw like, mustard or like some type of low calorie sauce like she use I, I also like to add like spinach because it's like high volume food that's a good one too it's really up to you though but um four hours 43 minutes and then 16 hour fast I think you're also gonna be probably hungry for probably another like hour or two and then it's just gonna wear off for a while and then it's probably gonna come back like towards the end of that fast because now you're thinking about it all the time. Oh, you can still drink water and black coffee. All right, I mean, just don't go too crazy with the coffee too. But um, other than that guys, that's it for my stream. Uh, I will be here Monday. I appreciate you guys coming out. I always appreciate everybody. And I, uh, like I said, I'll be doing Auntie Anne's on Sundays and I will see you guys Monday. Peace and love. I will see you guys soon. Have a good one and have a fun weekend. Peace and love, you guys.